Hey guys, bring back back once again. The cast have no escape too. So, while well, I have finally unlocked the bandit and the shamaness, that's not what we're here for today. Today we're here to settle the score. I still have not beaten the game with the huntress. So, using seed 420, I guess. Wow. Uh, let's give it a shot. As standard for these, I'm going to give it one go unless I die instantly. Then we'll do two. I've gotten a lot better at this over time. Maybe now I can actually win with this character. I've won with literally everyone else, including the two I just unlocked, who I would argue are probably supposed to be harder to play than this person is. So let's go. Let's not use my lessons learned of don't fight everything and instead fight everything. I do still need to do some challenge runs. I want to show off each class, though. I'd like to show off a win with each class, if possible, but that might not be in the cards because of this person. But I am going to try, dang it. You know what I'm going to not do? I'm going to not pick that up. I've learned my lesson. Let's not tempt fate. I'm going to not fight that thing either, because they're terrible. Oh god. Yeah. My cold is finally going away. Hopefully I won't be, like, coughing and hacking through this entire video. I might cough a little bit, it's not completely gone yet, but I don't think it will be as bad as it has been. Ideally, that means we'll finally finish, uh, Metal Slater Glory soon, but... We'll see. Uh, I want to pick that up, I want to gamble. But you know what? I'll gamble on... Statues this time, because I haven't really shown off the statue effects. So we find some statues, I will pick them up this time. I'm trying to win. And that, I'm still not messing with those. Those are crap. Even though I'm trying to win, I'm gonna do something dumb and screw around with statues. Because I make good decisions. And as I would like to find is... I should actually really take note of what the orb is telling me, but I never do. I just instead run around aimlessly like an idiot. I've also since learned that your current floor doesn't really matter to the difficulty nearly as much as how many of the essential items you've picked up. I've also verified that picking up the false sword when you start with nothing does actually make everything start getting all wiggly, like in 666 mode. So that is just a feature of the false sword. 556, five, that's... Pretty close to here. Is there a down staircase somewhere reasonable? It's an up staircase. I could have sworn I saw one nearby. Is it over here? No, that's an up staircase. I just want it down. I want to go down. That's up. I want to go down before I forget 556. Five, Okay. Out of the way. Now oh, this will do. Hi. Bye. All right. So far, this has actually been not too. Fr well, I said I'd do it. Hit me. Oh, we got a blessing. That means that we can buy stuff cheaper from the vendors. That is dubiously useful. 
If you're getting busted up, it's useful. But if things are going fine, it's not that great. Apparently I came up in the wrong area. There is just not an easy way to get over to where I want to be. Yep, that's a dead end. And you are a ghost. Get out of here. There we go. Guess I'm going to have to wrap around flip ways here. Oh, that's a real chest. Is it money? It is money. Ah! Well, so much for that no-hit run, I suppose. Not that I was actively going for that this time, and... Most likely, I never will. Boy, the one room I want to get to is just... just not. Just not allowed. Alright. Alright, okay. Is this armor? Yeah, it's a shield. I'll take a shield. Take a sword piece. Oh, ain't that convenient. 255, huh? As you can see, the eye between my uh, damage number and my number of crests has started to open, and that means tougher stuff's gonna start spawning. Or rather, I guess, more frequently it will start spawning, because I think it can spawn whenever. Alright, 2 5, we wanna go this way. Except we don't, because this way doesn't go where I want to go. I keep picking those up. Another thing I've learned, the Medusas actually... or, I guess the Lamias? I think they're supposed to be Medusas, though. Do have to actually look you in the eye to turn you to stone. Which is neat. Also, I think your arrows do more damage when charged up, along with uh, going farther. Whoa, hello friends. I don't don't want your business. So really it pays to just kinda walk around with full charge. 552, five, huh? That's fairly easy to remember. Ooh. I almost always... just run directly into the lava. Here is not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. I actually don't know what this one does. 2-1-2. Two, two. Sounds like there's a lot of stuff on the second floor. Maybe we should go there. We got 5-5-2, five, five, and we got 2... 1-2. Forge. Also, don't stand in doorways! Because this game is a little rude, and we'll just spawn those traps right on you. Well, that didn't teleport me anywhere useful. It's the gambles with the teleporters, they don't always send you somewhere helpful. Alright, looking for an up staircase now. You know what, I'll take that! Sometimes you just stumble across things by chance. That's cool. That's fine. Ah. Floor one. Whoa, look out. 
Armor, yeah. No. Do not want the clown suit. The clown suit is crap and cannot be upgraded. Also makes obnoxious noises, basically forever. What I'm saying is, it's pretty cool, yeah. Alright, let's see if we can find- Woo, not, not a room I really want to hang out in. Alright. want to get to an up staircase. i get you out of my face. Alright, here's an up staircase. And actually, this is 552, so yeah. This one was either 1 2 or 2 1. I think it was 2 1. Ugh. At the very least, I'd like to get the sword completed. I don't really want to fight you, Fallen Champion, and I have no actual reason to anymore, so, uh... Let's just let friends be friends and not... not do that. That was unfortunate. Alright. Getting loads of sword and loads of dead. I need to stop taking hits. I'll either stop taking hits or get some armor so I can eat some hits. Armor? Yeah! The good armor, too. Alright, now we can find a forge. We're in good shape. Well, that's what I get for not checking, I guess. Buy my health back. Well, I'll show you. See, cheaper. Didn't need to spend that money, but get rid of those guys. Get rid of the goblins. Just have a nice clean room. There we go. Yeah. Oh, the one up. I'll take that. I to get rid of all this crap. There we go. Uh, horseman. Uh, bad room combo. Oh boy, okay. There we are. Alright, we are geared up. One, two, six. I don't know if I got whatever was there. Now let's keep exploring. Horseman? Okay. Let's gamble. Which I think is also cheaper, actually. Two crests, that ain't bad. Five, four, three. Huh, I happen to be on this floor. I need to be two right of here. Horses? Okay. Yeah, one of those guys.
The Huntress is actually one of the better characters for fighting the stupid horsemen. Due to the nature of how they work. I just don't appreciate them. She is not the best at it, though. But I shouldn't have let that guy hit me. That was stupid. At this point, I could probably fight the Fallen Champion if I end up back down in his vicinity. And defeat him pretty easily. So maybe we'll do that. If we happen to bumble our way back by over into his room. But for now... Oops, starting to get the dead shock peepers. Oh, that is a lot of ghosts that I don't want to deal with. Okay. This is a room I also don't really want to deal with. Alright. I assume this is a fake piece. Nope, it was real! <laughs> wow. Well, we got the sword! And now we're firing, like, shuriken. Deep. I think they go farther for that lower charge, is what they do. But I'm not 100% on that, I have to measure it out, and I don't care quite that much. Oh, you. This does make the game significantly easier, actually. And now we just need to find the gems. Two, one, three. Oh yeah, that was the piece I just picked up. So we can either keep hunting around via orb. Or I guess we could, in theory, just kinda... Oh dear, run around. Fairly randomly in the rooms we haven't been into yet. Due to the gems being fairly distinct. Or the freaking mess. These one way hallways. I don't think I've been to the fourth floor yet, just by. Or the fifth. Three, six, five. Have I gotten that? I have no idea. Here's a, here's a password room. What's the quickest way to... Whoop! Ah, crud. Stupid bubbles. The quickest way to downstairs is this way. No, I did not get this one. I explored most of this floor, actually, so let's, uh... Let's get moseying. Also, I am almost uncontrollably fast. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a, here's a room of dudes I don't want to mess with. There's also a room I don't want to mess with because it's full of boxes. Alright, there's a stair down. There's a blue fire, which is not necessary, but is nice to have. Whoa, hello. I feel like the no damage challenge is very heavily biased against you just by nature of the RNG. 
It's like what happened there was this almost unavoidable hit. I don't know if armor counts, so I might have been safe. But thing you can just walk into a room and have things basically right on top of you, which ain't great for challenges like that. Also, not getting out of a door fast enough in an ambush room, as you just saw, will cause a hit from the lava. Alright, what's down here? A bunch of dudes. Get lost, Oxman. Let's go downstairs. Yeah, I haven't been to this floor at all. Time to start scrambling around like a crazy person. Sword piece that is obviously a fake and does nothing anymore. There's a doppelganger they don't feel like screwing around with. There are some dudes they don't want to mess with. Ooh, hello. I did not mean to leave the room and let you guys chase me down. I bounced off of a bubble or something. Apparently I didn't because there aren't any in here. I just ran out of the room real fast. My bad. <coughs> There's another fake item. There is an actual gem. Boy, I'm taking a lot of unnecessary hits to my armor here. In fact, I'm taking all the unnecessary hits to my armor. I don't think this character can handle that room. Boy, oh boy, I'm gonna die. I've got my one up though, so it's okay. Ooh, shiny new shield. That'll help. Oh, these are rooms I don't want. Pretty sure I've been there. Oh my gosh! Okay. A forge room would be much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> now all I need in my life is health. Woo! Oxman. Danger Oxman. I'm amused at the last thing I'm finding this particular run is the item that tells you if things are real or not. Something about that just strikes me as funny. shield and my armor in like one fell swoop there. No, not my armor. Lost my shield and took a hit to an armor. To an armor? To my armor. What the heck am I saying?
Where is this stupid gem? Getting hung up on doors ain't gonna help me. Alright, not on this floor. Oh, dearie me. Oh no. There it is. <laughs> and I got oxmen all over me. Oop, my doorbell. One moment. Alright, break. Over. Break due to the dumb thing I did. Alright, definitely not fighting you as I am. Oh jeez, okay. Something with which to fix my armor before I start this fight. Yeah, that'll do. Could use the hit points back, but it's probably fine. So finally, the curse of the Huntress will end. Or begin? The ending's kind of ambiguous. Now we are about as loaded up as we can possibly be, so... This should absolutely not be a thing. I mean, it might become a thing if I keep running into shots purposefully, but... Come on. Come back. Lose the shield, but whatever, that's fine. Now, oh, my sword.
I remember this caught me off guard the first time, but this phase of the boss is actually incredibly easy for basically everyone. Although, a few people completely trivialize it in a hilarious manner, which we will see. I don't know why I did that. I did lose the shield, oh well. Looks like the armor's gonna survive, though. A little dinged, but otherwise fine. Finito. Everything happens now that I've beaten the game with everybody. Guess we'll find out. Demon Nikolai is not completely defeated still. I guess he never will be. But hey, as for the last video, and per seeing it myself, the uh, stats screen at the end should show properly now. I have seen it one time still just skip through really fast. If it does that, I will uh, just slide in at the end of the video a screenshot I took of the screen from a different run, so you can take a look at it. Now it looks like the ending's the same. Oh well. Now all that's left is, uh, the challenge achievements. Also to show off the other two classes. So we got at least two more videos in of, of this to go. And I still enjoy messing around with this little game. I'm probably not going to do standard videos of the challenge achievements, but it might be something I, uh, trot out for streams every now and again, trying to do armorless runs and whatnot. We'll see. The next time, probably the bandit. Let's see if this screen stays. Yeah, there it was. Oh, it went by a little fast, but... I think you can actually probably pause and take a look at that one if you want to. So I'm not gonna paste in the video thing, not video thing, the screenshot, because I'm lazy. Anyways, next time, probably the bandit. I actually really like the bandit, that'll be a good video. And last will be the shamanist. Anyways, later guys.